So Snake actually became farmable uh, two weeks ago when Gyalfer came out. And it didn't really create any buzz like Bird when, when that became farmable because they don't release as many relics these days. Like if you go on the list of relics, like these three came out at launch, right? So they released uh, Snake with these three relics. And then the relic after was the relic made for the damn thing. But And then after that, like, yeah, they did release relics, but the most recent relic is Merlin's, which was actually quite some time ago at this point. Then Monspeak was a while ago. Roxy's was a long time ago. Estero, dude, th these are... I remember, like, this was so long ago when these come out. This was last anniversary, Lost Vein got a relic, so... You know, they don't release as many relics. If you compare, like, to, like, Bird, right? Look how many relics Bird has. I... I you can keep scrolling. Bo. The difference is insane. Like, I barely scroll. It's like 14 versus 36. But now we have actually quite a few t a few teams that can beat Snake very fast. But I want to try Mael. Because where they were building the team, this is definitely what they envisioned to be the team to farm Snake. And Mael now has a Holy Relic, so he should make it even better. He's going to be hitting harder and stuff. Uh, I think I'm going with these gears. Like, they're going to only attack... Liz with this gear set and just go full damage with the other ones. And the card set. I rarely get to use this card set because whenever I do Snake, it's whenever there is a new character, right? New festival, whatever. And I want to try them on all demonic beasts. And so when I get to Snake, I never get to make this homogenous one race team for the card set. This is only really a thing for the goddess team. But it's a very powerful card set. Farming Snake will be a thing. Right now, there's not much of a reason why you would, really, farm Snake. There's not that many relics, unless you're missing some, right? That, 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 that's valid. But the thing is, uh, we will be getting a card for Snake sometime soon. And with that, there will be a card set potentially made for the Squirrel or Rat, whatever. Oh, that's good damage. That card set made for the rat hopefully will be good. Because each demonic beast gets a card uh, to drop from their loot pool when they become farmable. And that card pertains to a card set for the next demonic beast, right? Bird got a card set for deer, which actually is like a very general card set. Which is a damage increase for single targets. And then Deer got a card set that was for dogs. It was like... Oh, I almost killed here. It was like, uh, when you get 5 alt gauge, you can't be frozen. That was for dogs. Like that, no questions about it. And then dogs got a card set for snake. The, the you know, one race thing. Again. 1 billion percent made for this beast. Okay, let's, uh, let's pop this Margaret card. I am not particularly the biggest fan of m how Margaret works. You know, you gotta you gotta pop the blue cards and I mean, unless it's a level 2 you're just giving yourself damage reduction, right? So we, I, I was thinking of not even bringing Margaret, but she is made for it, so I don't know. Alright, pop the can we one phase this? Probably, right? Pop this. Let's see. How much is this again? Oh no, should I pop the Pierce first? Oh my god. Wait, it'll, it'll be. This is 15%, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it kill? Okay. okay. We one turned every phase here except phase two. So two out of the three. And then phase two was two turns, so that is pretty quick. Again, farming is not a really that big of a deal right now. So I'm just kind of testing, seeing how fast the team can do for when I do actually farm, which will be when the card set comes out. Depends how good the card set is, because like when <laughs> when dogs got the card set, you need to get both cards. And let me tell you, it was not fun. Mainly because... Uh, dude, I rem 
I didn't get the cards. The cards I completed for ages because I just couldn't get one of the cards. Like, it was two of them, right? And I got one fairly early on. And then the other one I just physically couldn't get. Oh, okay. I did a bit more damage than I expected. All right. Miles Holy Relic with four cards available should be very easy to max out. Like, very, very fast. So that's pretty good. Getting the attack related stats would be nice. There's not many AoE cards here. Maybe I should have brought red Freya instead, but yeah, let's pop this. This. Alright, if. Uh, let's do this. I want to kind of save Margaret cards so I can pop as many as possible because. Uh, unless I forgot how Margaret works. This should kill. Unless I forgot how Margaret works. Because I haven't used her in so long. Let me actually. It doesn't matter to cleanse, right? You just, you just, you just need to pop the cards. Let's, uh, let's, do, let's do this right here. Just pop three of hers. Uh, Ludo CL. Uh, yeah, increases damage dealt by 15 up to 45. Yeah, you, you just need to pop them. Okay. Okay. I want to get the max damage increase, of course. Yeah, we removed all the damage reduction. Ooh, I never get to actually remove everything. I didn't even know he increases his own damage once you remove all stacks. Is that going to be a problem? Let's see. I don't think so. Yeah. This is why you gear Liz like that. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this. Pop this, get another damage increase going. Okay. Yeah, the damage increase going. No problem there. I would like to actually pop a level 2 for Margaret, but like... I now have full stacks. If I get level 2, I'll pop it, but... You know. Yeah, let's do this. This, this. I don't want to pop all the mile cards. Because... You know, there's no point. There's no point. We can't just kill him here. We have to wait. So if we're speedrunning, this phase is definitely kind of annoying. Because you have to keep waiting. But it's fine. Yeah, now that we have Liz ult, we don't even need Margaret's level 2. Like, this Margaret character, I mean... Yeah, she's good, and she's made for the beast, so if you have her, you run her, but, like... Uh, I never particularly found her design should be that amazing. It's like, the, the team is already so strong. I'll just pop his ultimate one as well. The team is already so strong, right? W with just Mael, LR Liz, and Freya. They're like, Margaret is very nice to have. And, you know, especially if you're struggling, not if you're trying to go fast, you're struggling to beat it. It's gonna make your life easier, but like, I don't know. I don't know. And yeah, now that we have the attack related stats from Liz, we don't even need the attack related stats from her level 2 blue card. Oh, if it doesn't get removed, that is. Yeah, with Miles ultimate, we can't even take damage, so... Like, I'll just keep popping her ult right now. And... Freya's passive has been, not passive, Holy Relic, has been long maxed out, so we don't have to worry about that. One thing I do have to worry about is that in, in Floor 3 Phase 2, man, I actually should have brought Red Freya. Damn, I should have brought Red Freya. In Floor 3 Phase 2, you can get stock, not, not... Stock is in, you know, it's gonna take a long time in that second phase because of all the stance removals. The bar keeps going up, but we should be okay. Let's just pop the mile cards. We should be okay. All right, I really hope I can one phase, the first phase here, because that, that's the way to go with this. I need to check... What is his damage cap? Is 
This is it now. At 35. Um. I think this should do enough. Let's see. Okay, that's not 30. Alright, uh, there's no way Margaret does enough. Oh! Damn, so close. Okay. Fred doesn't do as much as I hope she did. I I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pop on my cards, it's fine. I don't wanna take too long restarting until I get the perfect combination here, it's whatever. Damn, so close. Cause that you read the damage cap. Okay. We don't wanna remove too many stances, but... We're gonna start off with uh, with hers, or no? I'm I'm not even gonna use her card, actually. I'm just gonna pop this. Yeah, that gives me Liz Ultimate. Let's remove two stances. That's fine. That's fine. No, okay, yeah. I Green Freya, I, I, I like having her because of the two single targets, but like this phase in specific makes her so bad to use. You know what? I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna remove all stances. I've never done that. I've never done that. What happens? I'm gonna do a ton of damage, that's what's gonna happen. There's what's gonna happen, okay. And then, he also removes stances with his ultimate, like... <laughs> if he doesn't have a stance to remove, does he still get extra? Or, okay, he gains stances. Did, did, I... Genuinely think running other teams is more fun than goddesses because of this phase. Like legit. All this this one phase. I need to get like a, a proper way of doing this phase that doesn't make it unbearable. Yeah, with all these stance removals, like how can it not be unbearable? You know what I mean? Pop these alts, remove this first, pop this, pop this. Let's pop the alts. That'll remove the stances eventually. Yeah, I'll be back when this bar is down. It's just <laughs> so stupid. We actually, if I have a level 3 pierce, and it still removes the stance, how, how much are we gaining slash losing here? I would like to know. 31%, right? Oh, we lose nothing! It was a level 3! We lose nothing? Yeah, I think so long as I bring... Red Freya next time instead. Dude, look at how many stance removal cards I have. Margaret is not helping here either. You know? Margaret is not helping. I have six out of my seven cards are stance removals. I think so long as I bring Red Freya instead of Green, I'll have a, a better time here. But yeah, I don't know if Green Freya is uh, the greatest idea in the world here because... <laughs> What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do? Uh, another stance removal card. <sighs> okay. I, 
can't even attack. Can't even attack. Nice. It's finally over. <laughs> yeah, dude. Green Freya. I, I, I already knew this. I already knew Green Freya is bad for this. And I still brought her. I don't know why. I just like that she has two single targets. But having two single targets goes against this fight, this phase specifically. Okay, not killing here is kind of annoying. This kills, right? Okay. Yeah, once they release the card, I hope they also drop a patch that like lowers the amount that this bar goes up when you remove a stance. It just goes up by too much. It's actually because you you have to remove the stances, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like... You can just go in without removing them. You have to. It's too much damage reduction. Okay. All these useless Margaret cards. I just don't like her. Is there a better... I mean, is there a better unit than Margaret to run here? There must be, because I, I just genuinely don't like using her. This card is worthless when I already have a... A good amount of stance removals. Why would I even need that many stance removals to begin with, by the way? Like, uh, <laughs> both Freya and Margaret. Like, at this point, because back then, yeah. But now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now we just wait. I, yeah. This is not fast. You know, it, it is not dogs fast. Didn't the dogs get their update to make the farming faster when the card dropped or when the snake dropped? I think it was when the card dropped. So, I mean, so long as we we do get an update to these mechanics, it will make it more bearable because the card is going to have a very low chance. It is. It is gonna have a. That's what it's been, right? Every time it was a very low chance. So, for that low chance to be bearable for farming, we're gonna need. We're gonna need these mechanics to not be so annoying and long. That's that's the real issue. I'm just gonna make space here. That is the real issue. We're pretty much done. Damage-wise, we're crazy, right? I, sure, damage-wise, we're going... But I don't think Miles Relic changed anything. Right? He He's doing damage, but, like... He was... I feel like... He, wasn't he already doing damage caps? You know what I mean? I feel like he was. I feel like he was. So, Miles Relic, I, I don't believe, changed much. When it comes down to it. Remove the stance. Another stance removal. And now Maya also has his own stance removal when he ults. It's stance removals out the ass. So it's... Uh, anyway. He can die next turn. Oh, if only. If only that ulted enough damage to kill again. Okay, we're, we can... Uh, can can Maya kill here? Obviously. Alright, I'll ult first with attack with the stats right now. And my ult finishes for us. Am I excited to farm? Hell no. <laughs> and for what relic? There are no relics being released for this, probably for a while. 